Hello and welcome to this brief introduction to my air traffic control simulator for Android called Radar Contact. It's simulating an approach radar facility. In the full version you can select one of several airports. I'm uh, selecting Ragged Peak now and an arrival rate of 3 and a departure rate of 2 airplanes per 10 minutes which is rather moderate. I'm also switching on the weather simulation which will generate some thunderstorms and I'm switching on sound and text readbacks for all airplanes. Now I'm presented with the main radar screen. There are three aircraft approaching. Their data labels are yellow to indicate that uh, I have not yet accepted the handoff. There are some thunderstorm cells in magenta and also the waypoints of the on-off transition leading to runway 09 here in magenta. You can zoom in and out to some extent and those numbers you see in the different sectors are the minimum altitudes you're allowed to clear the airplanes to. Now let's fast forward a little bit. We have now a few airplanes already approaching. Three of them are on the on-off transition, the Air France airplane is uh, already on a radar heading and there is one departure airplane which uh, has a green data label. You can drag around the data labels just as you wish. Just use drag and drop for that. Now for assigning some values you simply touch a data label and then um, construct your clearance. I'm now confirming the release of a departure which will uh, appear on the radar screen in about one minute. I've now assigned a speed to this airplane and you can hear the audio readback which is even available in some national accents depending on the airline. Air France se baigne en hotel. Now the minimum sector altitude is 1,900 feet in this sector, so I have cleared now the Air France airplane to 2,000 feet. Now I'm assigning a heading of 180. Air Berlin 5 Golf Victor, unable heat in due to weather. But the respective airplane, Air Berlin 5 Golf Victor, is refusing it because it would take it into the weather. Furthermore, if you don't vector airplanes away from the weather, if they get too close, they will fly a heading, an avoidance heading of their own, and you will have to deal with that. Rag Peak Approach, Transavia 1 Sierra Charlie, hello. Now I'm accepting the just departed airplane Transavia 1 Sierra Charlie. Climbing flight level 150, Transavia 1 Sierra and Charlie. Time to flight level 150. Hit Ding Wohn 60, Air Berlin 5 Golf Victor. Rapid Peak Approach, Olympic 7 Kilo Lima, hello. Descending Flight Layer, Hill 80, Direct Lions, Cleared Lions Transition, Olympic 7 Kilo Lima. I've now cleared the Olympic airplane to join the Lions Transition, so it will fly direct Lions and then, and then automatically follow all further waypoints. Air France 70 Yankee Hotel is, uh, has now descended to a low enough altitude, so I'm now turning it right onto the localizer. Now let's fast forward again in this scenario. I'm assigning a localizer intercept heading to the Air Berlin airplane. The Air France is already established on the localizer. Heading 180, Scandinavian 4, Papa November. Now I'm taking the Scandinavian 4, Papa November off the on-off transition. Clear ILS approach runway 09er, Air Berlin 5, Golf Victor. And clear Air Berlin 5, Golf Victor for the approach. Climbing flight layer level 70, Transavia 1 Sierra Charlie. Air France 70 and QTL is now yellow, which means... Au revoir. Air France se baigne en qui hotel. I can transfer it to the tower. D 
Descending flight layer Hercule 80, Scandinavian 3 Victor X-ray. Descending 5,000 feet speed 200 knots, Scandinavian no, 4 Papa November. Scandinavian airplane descend a little bit further and reduce its speed to get it into the approach sequence. Airbelline 5 Golf Victor will very shortly be intercepting the localizer. Now I hope you have enjoyed this short introduction to my simulator. There is also a free version if you want to try it out on the Play Store and for any further information please just check my website.